Hey everybody, I want to thank you so much for buying either my Fire Stick or my Android uh, TV box. They're both streaming devices, they both do the same thing, and they both have my identical program. What I want to do is give you a brief tutorial on how to run my program. It's a little bit different. It's nothing like cable TV. Cable TV, normally you bring up a guide and you switch the channels and it will go into uh, the second channel that you picked right away. This is different. This is all internet based. So let's have a quick look and then I'll come back and I'll show you each step. But up here, I call these tab categories. These are my tabs. You don't click on those. If you want to watch a movie, these are basically the channels. They're really called submenus, but they're really the channels. So if you want to click on them, uh, that's what you click on to watch a movie. But I have a really amazing amount of content. I have movies. I have more movies. I have fabulous Kid Zone. It has every Disney movie starting from 1937 to uh, present. Really fine documentary area. Sports. This is the only thing that's live on my system. Remember, since this is internet based, this is streaming, so there's nothing really live. Um, if you go ahead and, for example, go to a uh, television program, let's go here. Um, if you click on ABC, there's nothing live, but you could still watch every show as many times as you want because it's uh, streaming. It's like saved on the internet. So here's season one of uh, The Middle. So if you've never seen this, this is a really great opportunity. This has every season in it from season one all the way up to, it's now well, season eight already. So you can have a lot of fun binge watching that. So that's what I wanted to explain to you. This is nothing like uh, cable. You have to individually go in, and I'm also going to show you, once we launch uh, a movie, how you have to stop it, since there's no real set guide here. Um, one of the things on here is I have it by the quality of the movie. Um, for me, I'm a person I rather wait and until something comes out on pay-per-view because the quality is so much better. So I'm going to click on this. Now remember, this is based off the internet. Now this is what's just come to pay-per-view. So this was recently, all, all of this was recently at the movie theaters. And uh, this has come to your cable company. However, you will have to pay them anywhere from $3.99 all the way up to $10 per movie where here you get to watch for free. So let me just, for an example, go ahead and click on a movie, and I want to explain to you. Um, what happens is when you click on a movie, you're, you're saying, I want to see this movie, Trolls. So since it's internet-based, it's pulling up the websites it's actually found. The difference is it just says link one through three instead of the name of the website. So you pick a link. I'm just going to choose link number one. and it's important that you understand because it's internet based. I know you're going to get tired of me saying it, but I can't have you comparing this to cable because you'll be disappointed. It does take a minute, um, less than a minute to load. Uh, so you have to wait. This is why having a really good, fast Wi Fi service is very important uh, to a person. But it's almost done, it's ready, to, and then it started working. <laughs> now, as you see, the quality is actually very good. Uh, it's in uh, 1080i or 720. Now, I want to show you a few things. This is called the control panel. How you could bring this up is you just hit your OK button on your remotes. Since I sold two different Fire Sticks uh, and an Android uh, box, both have an OK button. The only difference is on the uh, Amazon remote, it doesn't have the word OK. It's in the center of that navigation ring. So I just want to put it on pause. It's um, important that when you want to shut off a movie, you have to manually stop it. So this is where you stop it. Now, I wanted to show you a few things about the control panel. If for some reason you want to watch something in closed caption, but bear in mind that not every movie and not every TV show has anything uh, in closed captions. Here, we're fortunate it does. It pops up Troll. We're going to go ahead and just click on that. But here's the good thing about it is that if you are a person who really hates closed caption, I'm going to show you a way of how to uh, take that off. I'm going to go ahead. Here's the fast forward button. 
Uh, I do want to let you know that because this is a streaming, it does not work as well, the fast forward or rewind, as it would on cable. It kind of does a little bit of a choppy view. But here it goes. Let me go ahead and turn on the sound for a second. didn't know how to sing or dance or even hug. Okay, so as you see, I turned on the closed caption. The quality is actually, I, I think, outstanding. Um, again, because you're seeing this for free. So let's go over here. These are your basic uh, rewind, rewind from the beginning. Um, this is the most important. This is your sound or your volume. You want to click on that. The only thing you want to do is use your down arrow button on your navigation rings and come right here to the word enable subtitle. You're going to go ahead and just highlight it and with your OK button just click it one time and then you're going to just go up and use your back button again and back button again and you see it's the sub, uh, subtitles have been taken off. Wake up daddy! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up Just daddy. superb quality. But anyhow, um, as you can uh, see, there's no more subtitles. So let's go ahead and we got to manually shut this off. So that's all we're going to do. Once we shut it off, you could either choose another movie by using your down or up arrow button, or you could click back. You're always clicking back. Um, if you're wondering why you have to click back, let's pretend you're on Google and you type in um, a recipe for how to cook spaghetti. Well, you're going to get numerous different websites. You click on one website you're interested in. Uh, you start reading. You want to click deeper into that particular website. You click again. You finish reading. Now you got to get back to Google. Well, what do you have to do? You have to keep using the back button uh, because this is a really a web-based. That's what you have to do here. So that's pretty much easy. You you do that and you stop the button and you start everything on every section. Now I just want to go over here for a second and let me teach you some other interesting things. Let me go just to a random channel, doesn't matter. Um, I'll go to Bravo. And this will apply to most. Let's say I want to watch uh, the uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, but however, I don't um, have time to watch it now. I'm going to teach you a few things. I'm going to teach you how to save it to your favorites, and I'm also going to teach you um, how to get the information, uh, a little synop a synopsis, if you uh, like to call it. I'm going to use my menu button. I have to highlight it first, so you would want to use your arrow button. <clears throat> Look down at your remote. For the fire stick, the menu button is right next to the home button, and it's three horizontal lines. Uh, for anybody on the Android box, your menu um, button is below the OK button on the right hand side and it's going to have a square and that's going to have three lines in it. So you want to click on that. That's going to bring up, oh, guess what, I clicked too hard, sorry. Mine's a little bit different, I'm on the computer. <clears throat> you want to click on this, you want to go to the word information. And you click on there, and here it brings up a nice little synopsis so you could read what it is. Uh, you could do that for the movie channels. Not every channel has this, though. But let's go ahead, let's hit our menu button one more time, and let's go ahead and add this to our favorites. So we're going to click, click here. Then we're going to use our back button because we're trying to find Google again. Now we're going to go over that. Okay, and you just click on it. And there you go. So if you want to watch it, you just go ahead and click on it. Let's say you're done watching it. What you want to do is you want to highlight it. You want to take that menu button again, and you want to click on it. And that's all you do is hit remove. So it's a great feature. There's so much content on this. I highly advise you when you find something of interest, put it in your favorite section. You could save hundreds of them. The last thing I want to show you is just this general search area. You could search movie by, by years, and you could search it by genre, and um, you could search all, which is my favorite search. So let's say you have a movie here, and you want to go ahead, and that's all you would do is go ahead and type it in um, on your remote. So uh, let's um, type in this movie, hit done. I'm just going to bring up every movie. 
that starts with the word hidden. And there we go. In fact, there's a lot of movies that um, have hidden. One thing I do want to let you know is if you're in here and, oops, sorry. If you go back in here and you're in the keyboard area and if you don't type something in, let's say you got to go real quickly, you cannot use your back button. It's waiting for you to type something in. So if you don't, you're forced to hit the done button. And then you go ahead and back out. The last thing I want to show you is how um, some of them uh, uh, pick the servers um, on here. So we have different, each movie channel has a different way. Let me go ahead and click on this. So let's say we wanted to watch this movie, Suicide Squad. Now on this channel, instead of links, it's going to bring up probably nothing. Let me click on, sorry, something else here. I'm sorry, that was not a good example. I was looking for in theaters. All right. So here we have the new movie that's out, uh, Rogue One. I'm going to click on it. So what it's doing is, let's say you typed in on your computer Rogue One and you wanted to watch the movie off the, your computer, let's say, if, if that's possible. It's going to bring up every website. The only difference is these are the names of the websites that I found the movie on. So you select your server. There's no rocket scientist about this. The only thing I suggest is on weekends, don't hit the first two because there are millions of people on uh, this uh, streaming device and the server could only take X amount of people. So on the weekends, I like to click on any of the below, okay? And, and I don't like to click the, on the first two, but if I'm watching this on a Monday night, I'm clicking on the uh, beginning. Okay, so what am I gonna do here? In order to shut it off, I have to hit the stop button. So that's really about it, ladies and gentlemen. I really, really hope you enjoy this and it gives you the amount of hours that I've really, really, um, uh, I myself have been watching really great, fabulous movies and TV shows that I thought that I would never get to see and it was so nice to find it on, um, on the stick or the Android box and binge watch it. Anyhow, I want, I want to thank you very much. Please feel free to refer me to any of your friends and family. Word of mouth is really about the only way I sell it. I don't have a website and I don't sell on eBay. So I could appreciate any type of business you could uh, pass my way. So everybody, thanks so much and have a great day.